There's going to be good days. There's bad days. This is, uh, you know, it's it's this is the real world. It's not pretend. You move into year three and what you expect to have happen. I get all that, but we need to be even a little bit more edgy than we have been in the past. Am I? Hell yeah, I am. I'm, I'm more edgy. And I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop pushing them. I'm not going to stop expecting them to carry themselves at a high level. But I refuse to let them make excuses. Okay, we're 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 past all that. The helmet is, you know, something that we've. Uh, done in the past. I think it's uh, important for kids to be able to put on a helmet in this situation the people that are important to them or a couple people that are important to them. You know it's uh, it's kind of who you're playing for you know and there's a lot of a lot of kids some have one's one two, three, four, some of them have four or five people on there. This helmet means a lot to me, and the two initials I put on here were my grandma and my dad. So my grandma, L.H. Lynn Hodgins, uh, she never got to see me play college football. She passed away a couple years ago. We take it to practice every day. We take it on the airplanes. We take it on the sidelines with us, and uh, the kids remember who they're playing for. Maybe in those tough times, they'll dig a little deeper when they understand that uh, what they, who they put on that helmet is important to them. And, I don't know if you can get mine's right here. Got my dad, my mother, my sister, and then my brother. You know, because for me, it's always and it will always be about family. Uh, I came here for them. I came here to provide for them. I came here so that I can give them the things that they want, the things that they need in life. And a week after Hurricane Harvey roared ashore in Texas, the Lone Star State is on the long, hard road to recovery. Uh, Hurricane Harvey, you know, hit Houston pretty bad in my area, especially. Um, our house went through a lot of damage, you know, taking on four or five feet of water and, you know, losing most of the furniture, pictures, clothes, all that stuff downstairs. And um, by the time, you know, the storm's all the way gone, when the water's all the way down, you know, in the streets so that we can finally get most of the real big trucks out there to get most of the work done, then we'll know how much the damage is done. But, you know, we took a big hit, but we're still pushing. Everyone's okay, and that's what really matters. The materialistic things can be replaced later. Come on, baby. Come on. We're in here, we're in here, we're in here. First and 10, 114 and counting down. Luton out a shotgun to throw. Jake fires for Hodgins. Isaiah at the pylon, makes the catch. Touchdown, Beavers. You know, we're always looking for that championship effort out of every kid and that winning effort out of every kid if he's not a champion. Um, but if we just were to single out a couple kids, I think, you know, Isaiah as a true freshman has, has really done some nice things. Noah kind of seems to be the unsung hero a lot on the offensive side of the football, but boy, he's made some big plays for us. He's always involved in the blocking side of things, been physical. And on the defensive side of the ball, and Jonathan Willis has done everything that we've absolutely asked him to do. He's been um, extremely physical on the line of scrimmage. Um, he's rushed the passer. He's been a young man that uh, stays assignment sound. He's made a bunch of plays for us out there, and he'll play some other spots as we go through this year. So I'm proud of the efforts that we're getting out of these kids, and it's fun to see progress out of young men. You know what you're going to get when you play the University of Minnesota. Huge, huge opportunity that can just wipe past uh, the two previous games that we had. If we win this game, we feel like we can silence a lot of the doubters that. Um, have been down us from the first two games of the season and you know, we have a great opponent coming in here and it's going to be a great game and we just can't wait to go out there and compete. We're walking into a night game and our fans will be ready for a night game I'm sure so it'll be an exciting opportunity for a young man and all of Beaver Nation. comes down at the end of the day to players make plays, players win games, and there's a mental part to that which has to do with 11 strong, and there's a physical part of that that has to do with 11 strong. The way our defense is 
uh, built, we're not gonna be successful if we're not 11 strong. We can't have eight guys doing the job, not nine guys, not 10, it's gotta be all 11. And you know, uh, the new jerseys, they always bring juice, it always brings excitement to the crowd, it brings excitement to us, it brings excitement to the game, you know, that's just another edge that we're gonna need and another edge that we're gonna use, you know, in our advantage to get this win against Minnesota. Yeah.